Hello! That is you. Welcome back to Voice of Cards, the Forsaken Maiden. Last time, we met with Philai, this island maiden, and her attendant, Hyde. Don't hide from him. He's just... Very excitable. And told them the our plight. And they for stage for their work. We have to find some treasure. Thought he invite pirate uh, Costas at me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to. F Flipping use items. Do this thing, Northern Cloth or Emmys Four. Do it. Oh, that's cool. They have a unique card for them together. That's neat. So I'm gonna say that needs a lot. It's a new game. I'm gonna discover new things all the time. I'm gonna be very excitable about it. Go! I didn't know if Ryuji was in this game. Oh, treasure! Boss? I should have started this critical. What's fun about school? It's just a second ball of fun. Oh, they're dead. He's he freaking killed them. Latty level though. Just as you're about to open the chest, Fila interjects. I didn't tell you, but they say the treasure is protected by the pirate's ghost. She admits with a tremble in her voice. Oh, the pirate's ghost. Her face goes pale, and she squeezes Lack in her arms. The poor thing looks like it's in pain. <laughs> I ain't afraid no ghost. Fila says cheerfully. But then, who goes there? A voice echoes through the cavern. My treasure. Mine. You see oh. the dangerous aura in the shadow of the chest. Let's do this thing! It's time for your last stand! Dead man tell those tales! And that includes you! Sharpness. One. <laughs> K. 
Come on, seven. Oh no. Poison. Uh try attack. Now six. Water up. Charge. Do your thing! Item, item, army trade. That's okay. Heal. Give me a good wall. Nine. Barely anything. Yo. Okay, four HP. Okay, that's good, that's fine, that's fine. I can deal with that. Go! Six. Fail sign Ted. Oh, finish it. You can't hide from hide. Don't tell me you have a trim body called Jekyll. What, what? No. There's no levels up. Self heal. Cure all stats nerds except KO stores each HP.
Mine. The battle, <laughs> you finally reach what looks to be pirate treasure. Your hearts race in anticipation as you open the chest to find <laughs> hundreds of colorful seashells filling it to the brim. Ah. The room falls quiet as everyone stares at the chest with abject dejection, realizing the stories were no more than rumor. Well. Oh. On your sleeve. Whoa. She points to the rocky wall behind the chest. Mm. Upon closer inspection, you realize that there's a crevice just wide enough for a person to squeeze through. Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, this goes deeper in. Hello. Look at this big, beautiful lake. A droplet of water falls. Once the ripples upon the surface still, it feels as though time stops. All falls quiet. A beautiful underground lake, its waters glimmering like crystal, stretches out before you in the cave's depth. Your collective breaths are taken away. As you gaze upon the dazzling sight. Now this, this is a true treasure. The lake's light reflects in Fila's eyes. And she gently takes Hyde's hand in hers. I'm so happy we can see this together, she whispers. Though you had come to the cave in search of treasure, you found something far more precious. A memory. You return to Coveton. Basking in the afterglow of such a marvelous discovery. We see on the seas and saw the serious sights with us. Tears as her eyes. That's a game memories of friendship! Ta-da! Fila says suddenly, pulling a crystal out of her pocket. Apparently, she took it from the cave so that Hyde could make the matching couple's charms. Ah, oh, that's kind of cute. Her attendant agrees and says he will need to borrow the proper tools from the accessory shop. Accessory shop. Event! Someone has died. Asking a nearby fellow what happened, he explains a woman was attacked and killed by monsters outside the village. The fuck? Talk is, the woman was wearing perfume from a foreign land that drew the monsters to her. Oh. Oh no. Oh, that's that's just my fault. I did a good deed and I get punished for it. What the fuck? Oh, uh, yeah, this is the deed on top of the bullshit I was playing for in the last game. And I was pulling in this game. What the fuck? We killed the person. Not purpose, but we still killed someone. And what the big old body count again. Jeez, Bingo and Elliot are now Nick and Nick and body count again. <laughs> Jesus! They only discovered it after the fact. But that perfume was actually some sort of juju expressly for attracting monsters. You recall the woman to whom you delivered the parcel you picked up. Even if I didn't know, I'm the one who gave her the perfume. You think regrettably. Laddie gently places a hand to your back. You say a prayer for the woman's repose and quietly take your leave. Uh. 
That's a beer tub of bullshit right there. Oh, they didn't get any experience. Well, that's the damn thing. <laughs> I need some more to complicate myself. I just love the face he makes when clapping at me. He always complains, but still goes along with what I say. Oh, what wrong, Mr. Perfectionist? Vila takes one of the charms with a forlorn smile. I'll wear it to the maiden's ritual, she says quietly. My voice looks up. Uh. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fizzle! Hearing the carefree woman speak of the goal of your journey, you can't help but ask for more information. Fila explains that she'll be conducting the maiden's ritual soon. You wonder if it's all right for them to be gallivanting around like this, considering how important the ritual is to protecting the island. As promised, I'll let you borrow the relic, Fila says, changing the subject. Oh, thanks. But it's far too important for me to just hand it over to you. So, we're coming with, she smiles. Though it's obvious she's just looking to have some fun, you have no choice but to accept the new term. With the Maiden's Relic finally secured, you and your unexpected new allies make for the Spire. Did the spy? I still did not expect that. Jesus Christ. To think something good I did turned out to be something bad. What twist? Oh, I did. Five of gold. Back. I hate lizards. Call the wing. Treasure, um, this one, Nugget, hmm, how do I get to this side of the aisle?
Oh. Novel Compton. Yeah. Fila exclaims in excitement as she lays her eyes upon your vessel. How adorable. Thank you. You grin, knowing full well that it is, and prepare for departure. Set sail. Hmm. Yeah, I know. To the Omega Isle. You arrive back on Omega Isle. It's just as you left it, quiet and still, as if awaiting its inevitable destruction. How gloomy, Fila remarks. But her softly spoken words are swept away by the sea breeze. And to the smile, a course. Yeah, yeah, I know where to go. To the altar. You stand before the maiden's altar again and ask Lack what you need to do here. Lack explains that Laddie couldn't become a maiden because of a problem in her heart. How would you even begin to solve a problem in someone's heart, you wonder, scratching your head in thought? Just as Lack begins to cast a mysterious spell. Mm -hmm. Not one of your weird spells? Koa, 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 wan, tran, tran! As if responding to the spell, the altar begins to glow. Whoa. Now. Go into the light, Lack commands. You do as you're told, having no choice but to obey the self-proclaimed spirit. Puppet. Ah! What the? When you come to, you realize that you must have fainted after being swallowed by the light. You gradually get your bearings, and your field of vision clears. You're in the spirit spire, or at least you're supposed to be. Something about it strikes you as strange. It's all black and white. What happened, you ask Lack. Go outside and you'll see, it replies. Exit. Oh god, it's weirdly quiet. Hello? What happened to the map? Let's leave this place. Something must have happened inside. Once outside, you find yourselves in the heart's domain. The birthplace of human emotions. But is it light or darkness at its core? What is this? Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts is darkness! Your log! Kingdom Hearts is light! Also, glitch taxes. Someone took a brush and filled it from corner to corner with dark paint. Mm. You cut out the wonder. What the hell is this place? This is Laddie's heart's domain, Lack says. 
So this is Kingdom Hearts. Lack explains that it's a dream world created by her feelings. <laughs> well, this is really just Kingdom Hearts. This is just Dream What Drop Distance. I'm not expecting photos of someone just to show up. Yeah, get those damn gypsies. Because I don't expect you right about now. Laddie. Sweet, kind Laddie. Who wears her heart on her sleeve. And that's we at all. Laddie's gaze falls to the floor. Perhaps in shock at seeing what's inside of her. Black points south of the spire. Whatever is eating away at her heart is in that village, it says. Since Lack seems to know the lay of the land, you decide that following its advice is for the best. Oh, this place is seriously weird, huh? Yeah. Oh god, the game is not liking it. Oh, what the fuck? I was just joking when I made the Game of Hearts comparison. We are wishing fighting shadows. I know I could have said, oh god, miss. That music. What the? Um, one. I have a feeling I can't hurt these guys. A shadow suddenly appears. It gazes at you with eerie yellow eyes and is cloaked in a hostile aura. You have no choice but to fight. Let's do this thing. Stay still. Deadly poison. God, the music is so goddamn creepy. You missed, and she resists. Try attack.
God, this place is creepy. Level up? What is it? Yay? Kindness. Happiness. The shadow vanishes. But you can't shake the feeling that those final words were spoken in a girl's voice. What the hell? Anxiety town. What the fuck? Anxiety town is shaped entirely by Laddie's woes. As such, even the most beautiful blossoms in the village have their thorns. I kind of just want to play this out to see what the hell's going on. I hope you guys don't mind a bit of long episodes. If we come across another enemy, I feel like it could be a boss. Oh, this place is black. Little fool. Mm. I was hoping since this was a town. Thunderbolt. God, the music. I can't really describe it. I just want to listen to it. That single key of the piano. Just playing two keys. So distant and lonely. It feels oppressive. But the world's out to get you. Next time. We go deep into the heart. See you guys? Dead.